This tab is featured in my warm-ups tab on my Last Guitar Experience website. Check it out at lastguitarexperience.com. This might be one of the simplest lessons on my channel, but it might be one of the most valuable ones that you ever watch in your guitar playing career. This is the one, two, three, fours warm up, and we're gonna go in and talk about all the techniques and good habits that you can do for yourself that'll make you into a rock star guitar player. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe because every time you do, John Petrucci learns how to pick just a little faster. So our fingers are labeled one, two, three, four, and we're going to be doing the one, two, three, fours, which is just one, two, three, four, and then going up to the next string and so on and so forth. Then we're going to go into the next hand positioning and move up and down. You can print these tabs on my website, lastguitarexperience.com. It's in the shop, and in, it's under the lesson tab. Um, oh, no, it's under the warm-ups tab. This one, again, is called the one, two, three, fours. So we're going to start on this highest string here, the, the high E. Right? Pretty simple. Okay, let's talk about what you just did there. You want to keep your fingers nice and close to the frets, right? I don't want to see any of this back behind the fret stuff. If your fingers are back there, you're going to have to push harder to actually get the note than you would if you're right next to the frets. That can actually lead to bending the note out of pitch in case you're pushing down too hard because you're not, um, you're pushing down too hard, you're focusing too hard on trying to get that note when it's a little easier if you just slide a little closer to the frets. So try that again. Keep all those fingers nice and close to the frets. Right, I'm walking down to one, two, three, four. When we're at the top, you can keep all your back fingers down because anything that happens back here isn't going to affect this note at the front, right, of the front of the string. When we're doing it backwards, four, three, two, one, you're going to want to keep those fingers nice and close to the board, okay? So the pinky has the tendency to jump back and fly fly as far away from the fretboard as uh, as it can you're gonna want to try to keep your pinky right on the board in case you want to use it again right so going down keep your fingers above the board keep your fingers nice and close to the frets those are two of those techniques that I will say to my students on the regular throughout our lessons keep your fingers close to the fretboard or close to the frets and keep your hand low. Keep those fingers low. Make sure they don't fly off. That is just a natural human thing that happens. When we release something, we tend to let it go. So we have to create these new pathways in our brain. It's really annoying, but basically you're creating these new neural pathways to tell your muscles to, to stay down once you release off the guitar. And it's a real pain. It's a real pain on the brain. Okay, next string, let's go to the B string here. One, two, three, four. Nice, feeling good? Let's keep going. One, two, three, four. Keep going, go at your own pace, right? Also good to practice with a metronome. Any metronome practice, I always say to start around 70 to 80 beats per minute. Okay, that is hand position one. What does that mean? Well, that means our first finger is on the first fret. If we go to hand position number two, it's labeled on my tab at lastguitarexperience.com. It just means that you move your hand up to that second fret with your first finger. And then we're just gonna go down. Our one, two, three, fours. Right next to the frets. Not pushing down too hard. And keeping that hand nice and low when we're playing too. Again, we can do all these tabs backwards. I always say to my students, play everything backwards if you can. Try it out. 
and you're keeping those fingers low after releasing. Gorgeous. That's position number two. Position number one, position number two. Go up to position number three now. So we're on the third fret. We're going to start with our first finger, high E, going through it. You want to be consciously touching the fret a little bit. That's what I mean about having your fingers nice and close to the frets. You want to be able to feel the fret. And that way, you'll know in the future when you're sliding around that you're actually on the right fret and not in the middle of the two frets. Bending those notes out of tune. So, number one, keep your fingers close to the frets. Number two, keep your hand low. You don't want your fingers flying back. That might be a little bit hard at first, but it's something to really focus on when we're playing guitar, is to keep your hand low when you're peeling those fingers off the fretboard. Number three is to not push down too hard. Again, sometimes we will land up hitting the note a little far back from the fret if we're riffing. If you're pushing down too hard, you're going to make that note come out of tune. Here's uh, the, G, the G string fret two. It's an A note right next to the fret. I can even push a little harder, you know, if I'm, if I'm concentrating too hard and I'm pushing down a little too hard. But if I back that note up and I push, I'm bending that note way out of tune. It's going to sound awful. Sound awful. Okay? So that's rule number three. Don't push down too hard. When we tend to focus, we tend to concentrate and we tend to push down too hard. Um, throughout my lessons with my students, I see, I see it in their hands and I always say, hey, don't push down too hard, right? You're focusing, that's great, but don't push down too hard. Okay, great stuff. Let's go to hand position four. So hand position four is our fourth fret, okay? We're going to go one, two, three, four. Skip to the next string. One, two, three, four. nice if you can give these all the same value. By value, I mean amount of time spent on each note. And go through, go at your own pace. Right, don't push down too hard, right next to the frets. Back down, and going back down, keep that pinky low once you release. I also have this nice bright yellow pick today so that you can see that I'm doing all alternate picking. This is one of those exercises where you can do so different sorts of guitar picking patterns. Um, I'm a big fan of just all kind of alternate picking, especially if we're just doing something like a one, two, three, four warm up. Okay, let's go to position five now. So we're on fret five with our first finger. Okay, um, one thing actually, when we're picking, you can always leverage your hand onto the guitar with your, with your pinky finger, your third finger, okay, your ring finger over here. Um, that's going to give you a lot of stability when you're playing. Right, another thing we can do while we're doing our one, two, three, fours as well, is we can do palm muting, which is a really nice way to control your picking hand over here so it's not flying away on you as well. And uh, it's, it's really nice to feel the string and feel that slight vibration in the string when you're picking it. So palm muting is great to do with the one, two, three, fours as well. I also like a combination of ha having your hand leveraged down here and palm muting. All right, very nice. Looks great, right? Okay, let's just do one more hand positioning here. Again, this is called hand position six. If you were to just continue going and going. The one, two, three, fours is also one that you can move around. All right, go up to fret 12. Just remember to stay focused on your technique, okay? Don't push down too hard. Keep those fingers nice and close to the frets. Keep those fingers above the fretboard. Don't let them fly back off the fretboard, okay? One, two, three, fours is supposed to be an exercise. 
that makes you think about your techniques, think about guitar playing, and then jump into practice, right? Then start to practice something that you uh, that you're focused on, like pentatonic boxes or uh, the modes. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you liked it, please click that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you can see it next time I post one of these lessons. There's also alternating one, two, three, fours, where you take the fingers and you switch up the fingering pattern. And we go through the one, two, three, fours. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. Please check out my website, lastguitarexperience.com. You can watch all these videos without any YouTube ads. You can also sign up for Zoom lessons. Those are online Zoom lessons anywhere in the world. If you're interested in finding out what a Zoom lesson looks like, click on this box right here where I give Mike Schwartz a Zoom lesson, his first guitar lesson ever. Or if you're in the Okanagan Valley area in Canada, Kelowna, BC, you can do in-person lessons with me right now.